Hey guys, this is Matthew, back with a comparison for LEGO Ninjago Nindroids. Now this game is an interesting case, as it's the only LEGO game to run with all assets at a native 544p. LEGO games normally have their in-game assets rendered to 640x368, with earlier titles such as LEGO Batman 2 running its UI at the same resolution, and later titles such as LEGO Movie running its UI at a native resolution. Even the game's sequel, LEGO Ninjago, Shadow of Ronin, opts to render the in-game assets at 368p and render the UI at 544p. With that out of the way, let's talk frame rates. On default settings, missions will almost always be at 30fps, with a low amount of dips to 29fps in gameplay, and a specific cinematic in the level street spot where the frame rate will drop to 27fps. There is also a segment in the second level, A Clean Escape, where the frame rate drops into the low 20s right until you land on the third platform and the frame rate picks back up. On maximum performance, this segment still drops into the mid 20s, which can make the first two platforms difficult to jump. On default settings, missions where you control ships experience the majority of the drops, seeing pockets of drops as low as 24 FPS, but maximum performance locks these sections to 30 frames per second. It's nothing too unexpected, but it's a welcome improvement for the game. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video if you found it informational, and subscribe for future frame rate tests and comparisons. Thank <laughs> you.